Hey guys, it's Awana Turtle, and today we're opening more Ravnica Allegiance. So this will actually conclude our third box of this new set. <clears throat> so that that went really fast, uh, but definitely enjoyed it. The just really happy with some of the pulls that we got. I think we got most of the the good cards out of the set. Actually, I mean, no, not play sets or anything like that, but. Uh, with a couple exceptions, uh, I basically hit everything that I wanted to get. Um, and, well, getting a place that's probably too tall of an order, at least for the amount of op cards that we'll be opening. Uh, Alright, so jumping into the first pack, we got a Mass Manipulation, which is pretty much a terrible card. So, uh, kind of like last video, we're going to open a Guilds of Ravnica Standard Showdown uh, at some point in this video as well. Just a little something to spruce up our videos. Kind of do something random. Um, well, while supplies last, I guess. All right, for the next pack, we got a Hacrobat, Forbidding Spirit, Cult Guild Mage, and then Revival and Revenge. Another dud. I think as far as like a new set goes, like this the set is pretty good, but I feel like there's not a huge amount of hype. Like now that the new set, ooh, Kaya Orzov Usurper. This is the first time we pulled this Planeswalker. Very nice. Ooh, and we got a foil common as well. Um, now that the initial hype of the new set is kind of um, for the most part, I almost feel like it's already passed. Uh, I'm not sure. Now we have to... We'll be in a waiting pattern for some period of time uh, for the next thing. And to be honest, I'm not really... I'm not up to date with what to expect for 2019 or early 2019 as far as... Good, good uncommon. As far as things to look forward to, we got a Plaza of Harmony. Nothing special. So like, yeah, what's what's the next big thing? I feel like maybe it's the it's kind of the after effects of ultimate masses, which was just so massive and so much so much value and so much hype that anything to follow will just oh no matter what fall flat. So I wonder if I mean while, while I'm not unhappy with this set, I feel like it's hard to just follow up that act. And kind of like a, not a sophomore slump, I think you guys know what I mean. So yeah, I'm not sure what to look forward to in the coming months. And yeah, what, as far as what we'll be doing, uh, probably like random openings. Beyond that, I'm not sure, I'm not sure what's next to come. If there's anything that you want, particularly want to see, let me know. Stuff like Ultimate Masters probably be <laughs> a little bit out of our reach, but more reasonable stuff we can look into. The standard showdowns, I feel like it's a different, it's nothing new, but it's a new way to like add some variety to it, to the openings. Um, the cards you can get are, for the most part, uh, from, you know, guilds and prior, anything that was in the standard rotation still. So, and we can open up some older boxes, some of the Ixalan stuff. Uh, if if we really want to, we can go back to Battle Bond again. Emulation Shaman. We did pull a foil of this, which is pretty cool. Okay, so we're about over halfway, or we are past halfway. So we are going to open this Guilds of Ravnica Standard Showdown. Not sure what the best way it looks like. There is like a... But then, that feels like a very strange place to open the pack from. Oh, there you go. I should open it upside down. So let's see. Let's go with all right, like this. Okay, we got a Ripjaw Raptor. Runaway Steamkin. That's not bad. From Guilds. A Foil Swamp. And then. Alright, Foil, foil, uh, foil Rare from M19. We got the Detection Tower. Add one colorless mana, and then for one until you end your turn, your opponent's creatures in your po in your opponent's control with hexproof can be targets. So it gets rid of hexproof. Uh, 
the first the first one of these we actually opened but I, I would in my opinion was worth it uh, this one less so the case and uh, well, we did get a Kaya. So actually, this was a very strong box. We still got four more packs. And for this uh, Ravnica Allegiance booster box, I think that's five mythics already? Four or five, I can't remember. And we got a Rhythm of the Wild, very nice. Rumbling Ruin, Clan Guild Mage, and Pestilent Spirit. Three packs left. Okay, Biogenic Upgrade, Gateway Sneak, Sphinx of the Guild Pack, and then Nikia the Old Ways with a Foil Thirsting Shade. Okay, no, sh no Shocklands. We got a couple Shocklands earlier for the box, but then since then we haven't pulled any, which is very disappointing. Two Shockland box feels lackluster, although I think in the Mythic slot, we're doing pretty good. Dovin's Acuity with Hero of Precinct 1. And, uh, you know what? We're going to open another one. So this is actually the last one that we have. But this opening feels very... Not very strong, so we'll see if we can't give it a boost. All right, so let's see. Oh, Lyra Dawnbringer. Okay, so two out of three, we got very good cards. So we got, I feel like we keep pulling the same mythic. So the Lyra, this is at least the third, maybe fourth one we pulled on the channel. And then the other one, uh, the one that powers up all the, um, that creates angel tokens, divine visitation or something. That, that we did like three of those as well. So we got a Marwyn the Nurturer. Foil Island and oh, at least it's a rare gruesome menagerie. But for another Lyra, very nice a five five for five with flying first strike and life link and all other angels get plus one plus one. Very strong. And for our last pack, let's see. We can't finish with a strong. Let's go for a. Shockland. I feel like we're, we're due for a Shockland. Beastmaster, Tin Street Dodger, and Kaya's Wrath. Okay, so for the to recap, this was an okay opening. We did open two Ravnica Showdowns, with the highlight being the Lyra Dawnbringer. Very nice. And then for the Ravnica Legions cards, we did get a Kaya Urzov Usurper. So not the not the craziest opening, uh, but I would say I would put a media uh, satisfactory. Let's go with that. Uh, so that was actually our third box of Ravnica Legions. And if you did watch all the videos, I definitely appreciate that. This has been a lot of fun. Uh, potentially we'll look into getting some more Ravnica Legions for future videos. Um, but if you did enjoy this one, I would appreciate if you were to like the video. It does help the video, the channel grow. Uh, subscribe for future content. Ring, hit that bell button so you get notified when new videos come out. Um, if you didn't know, we do a lot of Pokemon openings as well uh, I think from at the time of video recording this actually starting tomorrow we are getting our boxes of the team up set so we'll be doing a lot of openings like of for that set uh, kind of like how we did with Raptica Allegiance um, so with all that in mind thanks for watching guys um, and I'll catch you guys next time peace